let's see what's going on out of the lake. Lake looks kind of rough. Well, there's that big birch tree. Uh, I have a video I made where I'm trying to pull that tree back upright. Not a chance in hell, but you know how that is. It's worth a try. One day I'll get that video up. Come on, Foxy. Come on, girl. There you go, hey? Well, she's pretty wavy. That'll add to the scrap value. <laughs> Foxy, come on. There you go. Find a nail. Give her, give her. Fuck yeah. What do you think, Foxy? Huh? What do you think, Foxy? You like donuts, Foxy? <laughs> you like donuts, Foxy? Foxy, what do you think? What do you think, Foxy? Foxy, huh? What do you think? Close the old dodge. Foxy, what do you think? What do you think, Foxy? <laughs> Fox yep, this might wreck the resale value. My redneck uh, camera mount. I just screw the bottom of my camera in on that and Away we go. That's one way to get rid of the snow. Kind of just push it around, get it kind of packed down. Good enough for me. The old damn Dodge decked on delivery day. Well, hope for the best. There's no winter maintenance past this point. They got a big hill to uh, conquer. She's quite a hill. Oh, we got some tracks. Back many years ago, I used to have a Fox body Mustang and uh, sometimes, you know, there's the only way to get out is go this big hill. I think one time a tree fell, so I had to take a different route. You just gotta do what you gotta do. So a snowmobile's been down. So there's basically just one path for the most part. Once in a while, the snowmobile wanders off. What a good co-pilot, eh? <laughs> so, you just kind of take it easy and then get momentum going down the hill. You get up the other side. If you don't make it, you just gotta back her down real fast and get your momentum. Ready. Let's go. Come on, Foxy.
You happy, dog? Well, this way is really tricky. At the top of the hill, they got a stop sign. <laughs> really bad spot to have a stop sign when you're going through unplowed roads. But anyways, so be it. Got my foot right to the kitchen. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. I'm hoping I can make it. Fuck yeah! Car was right in the pitch there. Big old Chevy stop, holding it out. Guys, we're from Barry. This is just outside of Glencoe. We got her out and she's good to get home. Cheers. It was kind of hard to record the uh, action of pulling the car out because I just kind of had to help with, make sure everything went well. And So, she put it in the cabbage. She went down in the ditch and uh, the front end was on the other side of the ditch. The main thing, she wasn't hurt. A lot of those people are just passing by and uh, offered to help, so that's awesome. They had a big truck and chain and all that stuff, and uh, pulled it out back onto the road. We found her license plate. It was uh, implanted into the snow bank. Just cracked the front bumper a little bit, but really she got off pretty lucky. We uh, checked her belts and stuff, made sure there's no uh, snow jammed in the motor and gonna wreck anything. Everything was fine. So, uh, yeah, it took a half an hour of our time, but no big deal. Funny thing is, uh, she works with a friend of mine. So, that's pretty funny. Anyways, uh, so yeah, the cheap car, it's running pretty good. We've got about 5,000, I'm just guessing right now, 5,800 kilometers. I got my tally of where I've been. I just gotta add it up. The speedometer, I've checked everything, but I think it's something in the mechanism in the speedometer itself that's broken. Uh, but I'm not gonna go to the, all the heartache of fixing that. I'm not gonna bother. But anyways, keep driving. Keep uh, tallying up the kilometers. Car's working good. Thanks for watching. Cheers.